Oi, oi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. And today, we've got a swimming pool. Oh, yeah. We've got a massive extension over this big swimming pool. And another one over here. So a nice big double extension job with a difference. Oi, oi. Not everyone gets to build on top of a swimming pool. Right then, first job of the day. In comes the concrete. I think it's 15 square meters going in today. All around this pool, lovely. Concrete poured. Ta-da! So we've leveled that all the way around now. We've allowed for a 25 mil split to get us back to level. Because the floor level inside, we've got some tiles and some build up to go on top of the concrete floors yet. Yeah, finished tile and stuff. Going round with a split, 25 mil split and a 10 mil bed on that to give us 35 mil. And that's what we're down here. Off of the outside. Which works really nice. Just a bit of clean up of the tools now. And then back here, once this lot has gone off. Right, here we are now. We're all loaded out. We've had a good pump out of the blocks this morning. It's me old mate Leon. Oi, oi. Yeah. Got to put a little split down first, ladies and gents. Get us back up to the outside. Tricky left his towel in his car. So I've nicked one. So once we'd run the splits down, we quickly racked up a couple of corners, run two courses of block work through, which turned out to be our sill height, which allowed us to set out the windows. There are two windows in this flank and three windows in the flank behind me. So that was the windows all set out. Well, although there is blue skies behind me now, we have not had the luck with the weather today. But we are cracking on. We all know heavy blocks and water don't mix. Ugh. Ugh. Got a wind post up now. Putting our tabs in as we go up for all of these. We've got the back flank up to a certain height now. We're not gonna go too high with them because we all know they sink. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to run through here now, get this one up to a nice height, just work our way round. Oh yes. So now I'm running the block work around this corner to what will be a large set of bifold doors. I'm also putting a wall tie in the wall every course, 150mm back from the reveal. Set myself up now on a temporary little scaffold in here just to get this corner right up to the full height. We're going 12 courses in total. Just realised we might have to cut this tree. <laughs> Anyone got a saw? It's coming on nicely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
blocks, please. That's right, I've got one more, now. One more full one and then block it. So my next job was to finish this dog leg corner, run through, and top out this flank. Right, we're up here now. We're all trestled out right the way through to these new trestles. Happy days. Gonna get these few courses on. Had a little bit of tree felling this morning. We get these fly through here, and then we're all up to height on the inside. This side. I'm going to traverse all this scaffolding over to the other side. That'll be the inside then, up to full height. Now we've got our lintels on through here. A couple of courses over the top. And that's our top. That's, that'll be our height. Run these through. We're going to put a tray. We're going to put one block on, then a tray down. And that'll deflect any water to the outside of the building. Right, we're tying into these steels for these little L brackets here and we're using these screws, which I don't normally like to use these ones, but these are the ones we've been given. I like to use the hexi heads myself, but there we go. They're self-tappers, but they don't self-tap. <laughs> they go blunt. We're going to pre-drill them first. Nice hair. <laughs> I told you you wouldn't get in there. He's trying. Oh, he fucking is. Get your arm in. Will he get in the cage? There you go. I never knew it was shoes. That's a slap. Shut up. Shut up. Take the shield. Can we get him in there? Oh my god, he is in there. Where's the keys, boys? <laughs> And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how we carry a hot carrier around. Where's the ball? Just like that. Help! One, uh, two, three. It's a mix up. You know what to do with it. There we go. When you've done that, get back in your cage. Oh, you can kill it. <laughs> get it back in <laughs> So now the inside was complete, except for the steels. It was time to insulate the cavity and start blocking up the outside. So I've got myself a profile set up on this corner now. We're all insulated through here. I'm going to run along here now. Back this flank up. So while I was waiting for the first five courses to go off a bit, I bedded the steels and put the two courses above them. We've got our expansion ties and our condoms in here. We've got an expansion on the wall. And I always put a tie in here, put my level up against it to plumb it up, makes it easier. So there's that one up as hard as we can get for here. So now we're attacking the law. Flank. So while I've been concentrating on the swimming pool, Kevin and Chris have got the other extension up to plate and some of the roof is actually going on as well. So we are definitely getting through the work now. The inside is all ready for plate. Steels are in. Not quite sure what's going on here yet. We might be putting a steel on, it might be a catnick. If it's going to be a steel, we've got to put a pad stone. If it's, cat if it's catnick, we're okay. Here we go, here's the chipster. Right, He's getting his corner up there against his reveal here. We're chucking our expansion ties in. 
double tide, lovely, right up the centre of the wind post. And I've got exactly the same here. Right, it turns out we're putting steels across here. Now we've got the steel. So I'm just putting some pad stones on, ready for this bad boy to sit on. Something I always like to do when I do my pad stones, not only level my pad stone that way, I always make sure the top is nice as well. That way, when it still sits on there, it's gonna sit on there nice and flat. You don't want your steel sitting on there wonky. It's really lovely there, happy days. Kev's gonna show us how to put a steel on. Just like that, the man's a magician. <laughs> so now that the steel was on, I quickly run two courses of blockettes over, bedded in my damp tray, and then went straight over the top of the blocks. Little idea for anyone out there, if you just want to bang a line up, simply just put your F clamp around there, wind your line around it, bang it, bang onto anything. Easy as that. We've all got F clamps in our bag. It's as easy as that to set one of them up. Boom. Just clamps on, bosh. Now we are at the stage where we're waiting for scaffold on the outside. So if you've enjoyed this episode and you want to see us get to the end, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. But until then, peace out and... Plop. <laughs> Acumen. It's Acumen. Yeah. A-C-K. I-U-M-U-N, yeah, acumen.